Hello, welcome everybody. Today we are doing a tutorial for the armor piercing rule for Heavy Gear Blitz 3.1. I've kind of got everything set up here. Um, I'm going to simulate how this destroyer hunter did two damage to this Amon Quasar. Uh, so the hunter rolled a five and a four, and the Amon Quasar rolled a four and a two. Now the hunter's gunnery is a four plus, which means I, any four plus will add to the highest die. The highest die is a five. The four add plus, adds plus one to that. So basically, this is essentially a six. The Quasar rolled a four and a two. It has a piloting skill of five. It doesn't mean it just completely fails. It just doesn't add anything to it. For example, the four is the highest die. So we still keep that die. The two does not add to it because it does not meet or exceed the skill of five plus for piloting. So that just kind of goes away in a sense. And at the end of the day, I've got a six versus a four. So the hunter beats the Amon by two. That's a margin of success of two. Uh, that two damage relates directly to the AP three, and it does two damage to the Quasar. Now, notice that I don't automatically just do three damage because I have AP three. It's reliant on the margin of success. The margin of success is two. That's why, hence, I did two damage. Uh, something to note, if the margin of success is the same, or it's a zero, I should say, if it's a zero, then my AP rule will automatically engage and at least do one damage, which is very similar to if the MOS was one, I would still do one damage in order to get it up there. Six would give me an MOS of two, then I could do, do two damage, and if I wanted to get MOS three to maximize that AP damage, I would need to roll a six, and in this situation, one more to make it a seven. Seven versus four, it beats it by three. So now I can do the, the full AP3 damage.